Hello and welcome to our new video of Learn Salesforce series. In this video, we are, talk, we are going to talk about how to create reports in Salesforce using Report Builder. Salesforce can provide you with both custom and new reports. In custom reports, there are some default reports in Salesforce, which we will be talking about in the video which you can just visit and customize as per your requirement. So in this video, we are going to take up a new report and just make a new report as per a sample business requirement or use case. So under the reports tab, I'm going to have the ability to view all the reports that exist in Salesforce. For in our case, we are going to create a new report a new custom report for the better clarity of things. Creating custom reports will allow you to create reports based on any tab or object that you see in Salesforce. So these are basically the different objects or tabs that you see in Salesforce going by account, their name, contact, account history, opportunities, activity, cases, etc. etc. You can create a report from account, opportunity, case, or whatever you want, depending on the data fields that you want in your report. Let's create a simple opportunity report to find out what's in your pipeline by selecting opportunity object. So I just select the opportunity report type for this scenario. So I'm selecting the report type opportunities, click on the continue tab. And there I can see all the columns, all the data fields, which are related to the opportunity object. Now there on the leftmost side, as you can see, there are two things, outline filters, which we will be covering one by one. So talking about the outline, there you have the group by group rows. You can just group your report by stage or by owner or by created date. Likewise. In our case, we are going to create a summary report to show the opportunities by stage. So I'm just simply going to add group by name stage. So I have group by my stay by uh, by my report by, by stage. So there I click on the refresh and I can see the stage on the leftmost side and by the report group by stage. Similarly, talking about the columns. If I talk about the columns, I can see that there are many things that I don't really need to know when it is about this particular requirement. So let's say owner role is not something that I'm interested in. So I can just simply click on the remove tab and get it down from the report. Account name, I can just remove that amount expected revenue probability as I'm just talking about the pipeline. So I, these all data fields would not make any sense to the report. Similarly, uh, as we have talked about removing certain data fields from the report, we can also add columns to the report. So let's say I want to see last modified date column in my report. So I just select that. I just go and refresh the report. I can see the last modified date being appended in the report. Here as well, I can see the last modified date as a data field in my report. Talking about, so we have talked about how to drop certain data fields, how to add certain columns or data fields in the report. Similarly, we can also rearrange these by simply drag and drop by using drag and drop functionality. So let's say lead source is something which I want at the top. So I just drag the lead source towards the top and there you go. You have lead source op followed by opportunity name, fiscal period and other things in your report. Since you have grouped by your report with stage, so there you go the stage with the stage column. Similarly, talking about the filters, let's talk about the filters. Uh, now in this particular report, we are talking about all the opportunities. So we have this business requirement where in I want a report of all the opportunities being created since inception, but I want to exclude those particular opportunities which are residing at prospecting stage. So there's one filter that is going to be added in this that we'll talk about it. 
so talking about the opportunities i'm talking about all the opportunities so i'm not filtering the opportunities by any role or person i'm not saying that i just want to view my own opportunities or my team's opportunities i'm talking about all the opportunities i select all the opportunities click on done and this is it now talking about the date range so this gives us the leverage to determine the duration that i would like this report to run for so let's say as per my business requirement i wanted all the opportunities being created since inception so i'm taking the date value as created date the range would be all time similarly you can you can also uh, create your custom date range for 10 15 days or whatever duration you want by simply clicking up start and end date but for this matter i'm talking about all the opportunities created since inception so my range would be all time click on the apply tab and therein you will see a certain increase in the count because now we are talking about not just about the current financial year or not just about the opportunities which have been closed in the current financial year but the opportunities being created since inception now as we have talked about the the stage that as per your business case as per this business case we wanted all the opportunities but not those records which are residing at prospecting stage so i'm going to add one more filter to this by the name stage wherein i would say that i do not want my stage should not be equals to prospecting so this will give me all the records other than the records residing at prospecting stage so there you go so now my filter is talking about all the opportunities created at all time and their stage should not be equal to prospecting <clears throat> now as you can see the prospecting stage is no more there in the report now there is one more feature that you can add to this report that will optimize or that make it more visually will give it more value to it so you can basically add chart to your report by simply clicking on the add chart button once you refresh it you'll see the chart at the top of your report now going by the proper chart properties i just can change the orientation let's say i select the donor for this view and now this will give me a holistic view of my report so let's say there are 10 number of records residing at close one stage there is a single record residing at qualification stage and in total there are 20 opportunities excluding the opportunities that are there in prospecting stage which we have filtered out now you just simply go and run the report once you apply all the filters and rearrange your rearrange add or remove your columns so there you can see all the related details based upon your applied filters now there's one more thing that you can do uh, now now this report can also be used as a component in any of the dashboard you may also export this report to your personal system by simply clicking on the export tab and selecting a format in which you want to export the report so i'll be exporting this report in dot xls by simply clicking on the export tab this will open up a split screen and the report will it's downloaded here now i want to name this report so i just simply click on edit i have not named this so i need to save this report for future references as well not just that i have downloaded this report but i'll be coming up in salesforce and just referring to this report on a daily basis so i'll be going in on the save tab and saving this report by the name of opportunities opportunities without prospect yes if you want you may add description to this uh you can also make it private or public depending on your requirement business requirement you can just select the folder and you can just make it public and private 
by selecting any of the folders. So I'll just make it private for time being. And I click on save. And there you will have your report opportunities without prospect saved. Now, when the next time I'll log into my Salesforce, I just go to the reports tab and I can see this report for future references. There you go. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that was helpful. Feel free to drop suggestion and let us know your thoughts in comments down below.